Hi everyone, Dr. K here and I'm going to talk a little bit more about frankincense today. Don't mind the change of scenery, we have renovations going on at the clinic as we have a new doctor coming on staff which is pretty exciting. Um, so today, frankincense and the immune system. So there has been some research done, a ton of research done on frankincense and lots of different types of extracts of it. Often you'll see the name Boswellia on different containers or on the back in the ingredients section that all comes from frankincense. There's often extracts called boswelliac acids um, or different forms of these extracts that are very often used in remedies for arthritis or um, joint pain, different things like that. But what we're finding out from this research is that it's amazing for the immune system as well. So some of this research, they actually showed that the biological activity of the oil, so this is the frankincense oil, um, exhibited strong immunostimulant activity. So it actually helped to stimulate um, lymphocytes, which is our, our particular type of white blood cell that is part of the immune system. And it increased it um, or supported it by 90%, which is obviously a pretty high number, which is amazing. Now a couple other things. Now it increased the white blood cells. It increased basically this um, this eating capacity for certain white blood cells now to, to kind of gulp up any residual cells that are around or if there's bacteria or there's just debris, something in the body that the immune system needs to try and clean up. That's part of your cleanup crew. Um, and actually increase the number of those little cleanup crews as well as increase their activity. So basically you have more people doing a job better. Um, so increase the, in technical terms, that would be the phagocytosis of the macrophages of your immune system. There is another study that looked at more specifically, now we want to understand the mechanisms of how it stimulates the immune system or what it does with the immune system. And one of the big factors is that it decreases all of the pro-inflammatory components of the immune system. Sometimes inflammation can be good, but sometimes if it's chronic, it can actually start to damage tissue more than help. Um, and so frankincense actually decreases the pro-inflammatory cascade. Now, how the immune system works is that there's a whole bunch of little messengers and they pass on these messages to the next one. Those little messages are all called cytokines. And what frankincense can do is actually decrease or disrupt that communication pathway so that it lessens the amount of inflammation that is in that particular tissue and in the body. Um, this particular target found that it's a frankincense acts as a very high antioxidant and it specifically targets NF kappa beta pathway. This is important in cancer, in, in inflammatory conditions, in autoimmune conditions, even in viral, in, in viral infections, um, and if there's an improper immune system development. It can also help to disrupt the process of um, bacteria, when the bacteria flora in the gut, so all of this microbiome that we've been hearing so much about, it can kind of help in that cascade as well to help decrease the inflammation in the gut. There's quite a bit of research on frankincense or boswellia um, and IBD or different intestinal and bo uh, bowel diseases or inflammatory conditions. Another one, now, we need to understand again the different components and how frankincense affects the immune system and it seems that there are so, so many of these. Now some of the research is done on different extracts of them, so understanding what part of those extracts are actually the key components to the activity and then seeing if these extracts or those key components are also part of frankincense oil or different frankincense extracts can help us to understand that better. This research study, I, the title just caught my name, so that, or caught my eye. The title is A New Vaccine Adjuvant, a Potent Enhancer of Mixed TH1, TH2 Immune Responses in Mice Immunized. Uh, and then it goes on to describe what they're immunized about. So essentially, they're starting to use extracts of frankincense to help stimulate the immune system when they give vaccines. And they found that when they added this other component, frankincense actually did a better job because the other component that they've been using only stimulates one part of the immune system. We kind of have these two legs. There's a Th1 and a Th2. And frankincense actually stimulates both of them, whereas the other component only stimulates Th2. 
So it's really neat to see that we might actually start to be using, start to use plants or have a little bit more of incorporating these really beneficial treatments in something like a vaccine that can help when our immune system or our immune system is properly stimulated. I thought that research study was pretty cool. What else? There was one more, um, and this one was looking at how boswellic acid in particular, so this is a component that was taken out of boswellia, and it targets a particular part of the immune system called LL37 cells, and when this interacts, it really helps to, again, decrease that underlying inflammatory process. And we could go on and on about all of the different inflammatory processes that are decreased. Um, and I think there's just so many different components and each of these different research articles look at different components that are decreased from it. One of the important factors, of course, is whether the stuff is absorbed. And there was some information that I found that um, noted that some of the different aspects that do all of this decreased inflammatory action are not absorbed very well. But actually, when we mix them in with different types of fat, it can be absorbed a little bit better. So my curiosity is now understanding if I'd love to see a research study on understanding how the essential oil, because it is a fat component and it has the oil incorporated into it, whether that has a better absorption than any of the other components. And when it's absorbed well, there's a few research study that looks at actually gets into our brain. And this is one reason why it may be so beneficial for different types of brain cancers or brain tumors uh, when people have these, that the boswellia and the frankincense essential oil might actually get further into the tissue there. We have a blood-brain barrier that very much protects our brain from being exposed to everything else that might be in our you know respiratory tract or just around the rest of our body and our GI system or float, floating around in our blood and things have to be able to cross this blood brain barrier in order to get into the brain and so this is a really cool uh, information it showed as an animal study that showed frankincense actually does get into the brain and looking at all the different components that actually get into the brain within about eight hours after taking it. So it might be something um, like it describes the dosing that we might want to give frankincense once a day because it in eight hours then it would be uh, it would be in the brain or maybe twice a day but about eight hours apart. Anyway, very interesting research and thanks for sharing it with me. Let me know if you guys have questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.